we need to think differently about how we structure multiple workspace accounts. And you may choose to structure it this way if you are a reseller of some sort and you want to manage multiple accounts. Is there no way to assign different workspace licensing packages to each user as required? I want to manage all my clients from one Google Admin console, but the problem is not everyone wants to pay for the enterprise license and therefore we need to create their own Google Admin. Okay, so this is a very interesting question. So when we have a Google Workspace account, within that Workspace account, we're going to have a number of domains and then we're going to have a number of users. And these are buckets of email, Peter, Scott, Claire, Regina, and Red. So what some people will do is they will create multiple domains for different businesses under one workspace account. And I don't know why you would do that, but I think sometimes if someone's maybe like a web host or a developer, or they want to like help out some friends and family, and they want to be able to administer multiple Google workspace accounts, maybe they go with this strategy. And what ends up happening is we have multiple businesses under the one account, which is a big no-no. We definitely don't want that. Because what happens there is data can accidentally be shared between multiple different people or multiple different businesses. The administration obviously turns into a nightmare pretty quickly. And there are some limits on Google Workspace accounts that you're probably going to run into. As an individual business, you probably won't run out of aliases. But if you're a business trying to have multiple customers under one workspace account, well, that's definitely not going to work. So what we need to do here is we need to think differently about how we structure multiple workspace accounts. And you may choose to structure it this way if you have multiple brands. You may choose to structure it this way if you have multiple business units that are separate from each other or maybe you have different directors or different shareholders. You may choose to structure it this way if you are a reseller of some sort and you want to manage multiple accounts. So what does that look like? Well, for starters, so we're going to set up workspace account number two and workspace account number three. Great. Okay. So I've got three different Google Workspace accounts here now. And with my three different Workspace accounts, I will have different domains, right? So let's put the second domain for the second business there and another domain for another business here. Great. Call that domain three. And then for each one, you're going to have users, right? So here's our buckets of email for each user. And domain two, we're going to have our buckets of email for each user. Now, each one of these accounts is going to have a special account, which is a super administrator account, right? Super administrator account. So that's the super administrator there, there, super administrator. Okay. And typically, each super administrator will also be issued a mailbox. Now, if you're a small business and you just have a single Google Workspace account, you're probably just going to be the super administrator for your business, right? Because you only need one account, you only need one super administrator, and it's super easy, right? It's super simple and straightforward. But if you are a tech support person, there's two ways of managing multiple Google Workspace accounts. So one is via a reseller. So if you're a reseller, which we are, we actually have background access to each one of these accounts. Now, we can act as a super administrator, but it doesn't cost a license for us to be a super administrator. We just have basically backdoor access. Now, our customers, if they wanted to, can tick a box and stop that background access. It means that we can bill them for the licenses, but we unfortunately can't edit any settings. We can't change anything. We can't delete any accounts. We can't reset passwords for them. If they want to, they can do that. And so what that would look like is just basically switching off our access as a reseller. But because we're in a tech support role, not many customers are going to do that, right? For the most part, we're going to be there and we need access to be able to troubleshoot things on their account. So they're going to give us the access for managing their accounts as a reseller. Great. Okay. That's nice and useful. Well, how else can someone access an account if you need to access multiple accounts? Let's say you're a remote admin, right? You want to help out with admin, 
but maybe you're a contractor, maybe you don't have a billing relationship, maybe you don't have enough customers to qualify to be a reseller. How would you manage multiple accounts or how would you get access to multiple accounts without having to pay for a super administrator license? Because you probably don't want to be sharing the password of the super administrator between multiple people. That's not really a scalable solution and it's just really poor security practice to be sharing passwords, particularly to administrator accounts. So how do we then get access to multiple accounts? Well, Google has a really cool feature that allows you to create a user without a mailbox. And that means that you do not pay for that user under an account. So I'm gonna call this IU. It's an identity user. Now it's still a super administrator, and it needs to be switched on using Google Identity Control. And once you've switched on the Google Identity Verification Service, you can create an identity super administrator that theoretically the remote admin could hold the credentials for and they don't consume a mailbox. So you don't have to pay for each one of those accounts. Now, side note, it's a good idea to do this for any business. If you are a business owner and you just have one Google Workspace account, rather than the business owner holding the super administrator account, which is not really ideal security-wise, you can create an extra identity user without a mailbox attached. You don't pay, and that super administrator account would effectively only be used when you need to administer the account, and it wouldn't be used for any day-to-day -day work. That's the safest way to protect your super administrator credentials for a workspace account. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.